not just about the playing the music. It's about making people stop, meditate, pray. This is the sound of Montreal Ukrainian pianist Sherry Salov, who's playing outside Maison Alcan in downtown Montreal, Wednesday to Friday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. for two weeks, raising awareness for those still losing their lives in Ukraine amid the Russian invasion and the many who have had to evacuate and start over. His wish, not just harmony in his music, but in Ukraine as well. Half of my life, I've been living in Montreal. No, closer to a third of my life. <laughs> I'm making myself young. <laughs> Originally from Ukraine, the internationally renowned pianist moved to Canada after his career launched when he won the Concours Musical International de Montréal in 2004. Today, Salov has four children and loves the city as much as he loves playing piano. But he cannot stop thinking about his home country. You are either fighting with the Ukrainian forces, armed forces, or you are helping the Ukrainian armed forces. So I decided to do the latter. Salov performs emotion-filled concerts, all while encouraging spectators to purchase a tourniquet online, a device that helps stop bleeding through compression that will be sent out to Ukrainian troops. One of those devices is quite pricey. It's, it's ultra-powerful NATO standard tourniquet. It's around 30, between 30 and 40 dollars. So people will, are encouraged to donate one tourniquet upwards. It's twisted to, to make, make, make it really tight. That's why it's called tourniquet. Obviously, they don't have time to, to take the clothes off. They don't even know where the, where the wound is. Every concert begins with the Ukraine national anthem and ends with John Lennon's Imagine. The pieces in between vary each day, but through every performance, someone is inspired. What do you think is the ball of the Okay, It's about love. It's about love of everything. It's about love of humanity. The streets of downtown Montreal will be filled with the music of Salov's performances until June 10th. And the initiative of purchasing a tourniquet wraps up at the end of the month. He hopes to keep raising awareness for Ukraine one note at a time. Thank you to Montrealers who will donate uh, a tourniquet. Thank you so much in the name of music and in the name of Ukraine. In Montreal, Pamela Pigano, City News. Uh -huh.